Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to look at the ECM Defect standard model for today's second video. So uh, yeah, we're looking at the next uh, six weeks worth of weather in terms of mean sea level pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature and precipitation uh, on anomalies. Um, and it can take us well into March as well. So I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video is sales our 6 m upload. We've got weekend broadcast and a 10 to 14 day coming up for you uh, later on today. I may not have the time to do the written version of week ahead forecast today but there will be a video version uh, in any case of the week ahead so please like share subscribe on all the videos and thank you so much everyone for doing that for gas web it's Right, so we're going to start off with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly this will take us from the 14th to the 21st of February. So uh, next week basically looks unsettled with low pressure dominating across much of uh, the North Atlantic into Northern Europe. We've got high pressure around Spain and pulling out in towards uh, uh, the Atlantic. And in between, you've got a strong westerly jet stream as well. So it looks as though next week will be very Atlantic driven. By the way, this uh, video focuses on the UK. I will do the wider European outlook using the EC extended model uh, on a Tuesday. Uh, so in terms of 500 millibar height dominance, <coughs> excuse me, next week we've got uh, below average heights dominating weather across the North Atlantic into Northern Europe, above average heights, uh, high pressure to the south, so low pressure in the north, high pressure to the south, and in come those westerly winds. So, surprise, surprise, we've got a mild of an average week coming up uh, next week with above average temperatures. It is cooler out to our northwest, but for most parts of the UK and Ireland, above average temperatures. But it will be unsettled, which is something we haven't had all that much of this uh, winter so far. So we actually have above average rainfall uh, next week, quite a wet week to come. Into uh, week two, which will be the 21st to 28th of February, we look like that. So the low pressure begins to uh, lift out to the north. High pressure begins to build to the south, to the southwest. The jet stream starts to go northwards uh, as well. So high pressure building up from the Azores into western, southwestern Europe. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. Again, with below average heights away to our northwest, above average heights building up from the Atlantic into Western and Southwestern Europe. Temperature anomalies are mild of an average once more. Yes, have above average temperatures in this uh, particular week, the 21st, 28th of February, last week of the month, goes drier as well. So uh, we lose that wet weather from week three and week four goes generally a little bit on the drier than average side. Uh, week 3 will be the 28th of February to the 7th of March and we still find that we have low pressure around Greenland and Iceland, high pressure across much of Western uh, Europe still. The jet stream is up here so looking pretty spring-like as we go into the first week of March. The 500 millibar height on this shows no particular change with below average heights around Greenland and Iceland, above average heights across much of uh, Western and Southwestern Europe. The temperature anomaly remains milder than normal, so a proper spring-like uh, start to meteorological spring, that would be. And uh, we have a situation where it's a little bit wetter than average just to our north, and a little bit drier than average just to our south. Uh, week 4 will be the 7th to the 14th of March, and there's still no particular changes. So high pressure again reaches in from the Atlantic into Western Europe, low pressure around Greenland, Iceland, jet stream is still up there somewhere. So yes, the uh, the westerly pattern uh, goes on. 500 millibar high tsunamis again showing no change. Below average heights away to the north, above average heights over and to the west and south of the country. The temperature anomaly for week four, that remains milder than normal for uh, Ireland and for the UK as well. And the precipitation anomaly remains largely on the dry and average side, especially so for more southern parts of England, Wales and Ireland. Still a little bit better than average in the north. Right, we're up to week five. This is going to be the 14th to 21st of March. Any changes? Not really. Look at this. It just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? High pressure remains across this western part of Europe. Lower pressure is up here around Greenland and Iceland once again. The 500 millibar height anomaly still looks exactly the same with high pressure in off the Atlantic. Low pressure is up there somewhere week five temperature anomalies are milder than normal 
for the UK and for Ireland as well. And the precipitation anomaly from the 14th to the 21st of March is about average, but it's drier than average to our south and wetter than average up to the north. And then finally to week six, which will be the 21st to the 28th of March. How do we look? Uh, look at that, the high pressure is in over top of the country then. So still the high pressure fest goes on. Uh, 500 millibar height anomaly again, showing that ridge of above, average heights in there. No changes whatsoever. Uh, the temperature anomaly remains milder than normal. And the precipitation anomaly, lastly, goes dry than average as high pressure is centrally located over the country. What a remarkable forecast. That will probably be one of the warmest and driest marches on record, I would have thought, if that came off. It's a big year because like six weeks of a near identical pattern, except next week, which is a little bit more unsettled. But basically, it's six weeks of a near identical pattern. Um, I think mean, we've probably had six weeks of the same pattern so far. We've actually had this pattern, you know, going on pretty much since August. So it might go on through the whole of March. If it does so, it will be one of the warmest and driest Marches uh, we've ever had, I would have thought. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with health warnings uh, attached. So, um, you know, we'll wait and see how it all works out. Uh, we're going to have a weekend forecast coming up for you uh, later on and a 10 to 14 day that will include all of the regular features. So uh, keep checking back to the channel for all of the uh, content. But for uh, today's, uh, for this week's, I should say, ECM WF42 day slash six weeks look ahead. That's all for now and thanks for watching.